Hi, I'm Joanna with The Smallscape and today I'm upgrading this terrarium into a miniature greenhouse. Then I'm going to add some lights and deck it out for Christmas. Well, welcome back to the channel. I am very excited for this project because I have I have a few issues here that this is going to this is going to deal with. First, I'm getting overrun with plants. Some of them have left. I've put them in other areas of the house. This is going to organize them and keep them kind of nice and tidy. My second issue is that I've always wanted a greenhouse, especially around Christmas, because if you've ever seen on Pinterest the Christmas greenhouses, or if you've ever seen Frosty the Snowman, maybe then you understand. And third, it's going to be really fun to deco decorate it for Christmas because everything else in this workshop very soon will be decorated. So why shouldn't this? Plus, I, I really like it. It is very chippy finish, uh, which is very chippy, actually. I got this at Hobby Lobby, and it does kind of go with the decor of my workshop. So I will like it year round. It'll be really fun to decorate it for the different seasons, and I'll keep my plants all nice and happy. And all of these back here are gonna be able to fit in here very nicely. They're babies. This would also work really, really great for succulents. So let's go over what we're gonna need. It's not a lot and I'm only using what I have on hand. So the wood that you see here is, I'm using it because that's what I had. And I'm going to be constructing four miniature tables, so cute, to go in here so it looks like an actual greenhouse. Then I can have two levels of display. The supplies I'm going to be using are two miniature pallets from the Dollar Tree and I cut them in half so that they equal four little tabletops. Then I had a box of this this game Jumbling Towers which are just wooden pieces that I had gotten from the Goodwill for like two dollars. So I'm using eight of these. These are going to serve as the table legs and they're three inches long. Now I wanted them to be four inches, but this is what I had. So I'm going to be using, this is a package of wooden craft cubes that I had gotten from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna be using two of each of those just to bump this up to be four inches long. And the other supplies that I'm using, hot glue to affix the lights on the inside of the greenhouse. Then I'm going to use Gorilla, super glue gel to it, uh, affix the wood together. You could also use wood glue. This is my string of 30 lights. It's an orange color which makes a very warm glow. The paint, I quite possibly am going to, I haven't decided yet. You could stain them, you could leave them as is. I think I'm going to paint them so that they're kind of like a gray, gray wash so it matches the color of the greenhouse. I like to paint with a sponge brush and oh, this is the cutter that I use to cut these. It's just a basically a miniature uh, craft saw or you could use an exacto knife or have somebody cut it for you. Let's start. So it's time to get to gluing and I used super glue. In hindsight I'd probably go directly to hot glue. You know, there's no waiting time with hot glue, but the super glue, generally speaking, worked pretty well. You just need to glue. I try to do a little production line. I always like little production line. Think that I'm in Santa's workshop or something. And glue it, but you do have to let it sit for a few minutes before you start moving things around. I found that out the hard way. Here I am assembling the little tables, and let me tell you, they've... I don't know if you're the same, but when you want to make something and it turns out just like you pictured it in your head. It's so exciting. And then I decided to glue just, uh, since it's a 30 count light string, I glued just the bottom, uh, like half of it, along the very bottom to see if I liked it there and I left the other half loose. I wanted to see if it totally wrapped around twice. It didn't, but good enough. And I just used a little tiny amount of super glue or a hot glue and then it's very easy to just pop it right off if I decide I want it somewhere else. Now I used a dark gray paint. If I would do it again, I might not even paint them at all because if you leave them unpainted, 
kind of looks just like how you constructed your own tables and you put them in your garage and then they wear you know and weather over time but the gray is kind of fun too because it does almost exactly match the greenhouse which is really fun matchy matchy is kind of fun sometimes the lights are just killing me I just love tiny fairy lights. I don't know what we did without them before when we only had those monstrous, if you ever look at the old school lights now, they look ginormous. And it was so fun to load up tiny plants in a tiny greenhouse. I was so excited. I finally gotten my very own greenhouse. really happy with all my plants too they they fit in very nicely really glad and here comes the super fun part if this wasn't fun enough you got it time to deck it out for Christmas I didn't go crazy I will probably tweak it here and there because that's just what I do I always like to add a little mouse rug this is one of my little miniature like oriental rug mouse pads I love these, they're so cute. They're really versatile for any kind of miniature display or just to be by a computer to add a little bit of warmth and just put some trees in some weathered pots. And I have a couple of little figures. They are, uh, I think her name is Pam Schifferl. I always just refer to it as, as Schifferl. The little fox and the little Santa riding a polar bear. So cute, one of my Christmas collections that I absolutely love and I like to just put them, I don't know, wherever I feel like it that year. And this is where I found a couple of little, little nooks and crannies, just like you would be decorating your own little pots outside. And a little, of course, if you're gonna be watering your plants, you need a little tiny watering little jug. This turned out so, it was, it's just, I love it. And I love how it is extremely practical as well because not only does it not block the window, you can see directly through it, lets lots of light in, you can see into the greenhouse, you can see your plants, and you can also see the window behind it, and the plants are equally as happy. They get lots of sunshine, and these plants will appreciate having uh, some added humidity as it's a kind of a closed container. I just, I love how it turned out. It was super fun, and I could totally see just getting like 10 more and just lining an entire wall full of these greenhouses it would be so much fun and this just proves my point if there's anything that you want that maybe you don't have the space for just make it in miniature and you can have it too thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully it gave you some inspiration to make a miniature version of something for yourself too have a great week and I will see you in the next one bye